Welcome back to the top news channel BRF update. If you find my video useful, don't forget to click like and subscribe. In this video we will have the following main content. 1. You're not a princess, Queen ignores Meghan's title. 2. Information crisis, Harry and Meghan announce the launch of a world-changing report. Queen ignores Meghan's title. Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge have a daughter, but Meghan Markle does not. Although Meghan Markle married Prince Harry last year, the public hasn't recognized her as a princess. Be a result, why is Meghan referred to as the Duchess of Sussex rather than Princess Meghan? Some readers said that, simple, to be a princess you must be born into the royal family, e.g., Princess Anne, Princess Beatrice, Princess Eugenie and Princess Alexandra. Sophie is the Countess of Wessex, Kate the Duchess of Cambridge and she was the Duchess of Sussex until the Queen removed all her rights and privileges. She is Mrs. Windsor despite agreeing not to use her royal connection in her commercial life. Another one, instead of wondering why Meghan is not a princess you should ask how Harry became Mr. Markle. Can you imagine how insufferable the woman would be with the title princess? Hello, Senator. Please meet my husband, Harry. In case you didn't know, I am a princess and he is a prince. Why is Meghan Markle not known as a princess? According to a source, in 2018, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wed in St. George's Chapel, Windsor, in a star-studded ceremony. Duke and Duchess of Sussex were bestowed upon newlyweds by the Queen, as is tradition when a member of the royal family weds. When Meghan became a Duchess of Sussex after her wedding, many asked why she was not named Princess. Some expert comments said, she was able to have the role of Duchess bestowed on her when she married a prince but she has to be born of royalty to be called Princess and both her parents were American and commoners. Since George III America has had no royalty of its own. Some other readers said, can you imagine the feminist losing her own name in order to be called a princess? Thing is, if their occupation is Princess of the United Kingdom and Millimeter no longer works for the UK, Princess can no longer be her occupation, surely. Information crisis, William Harry and Meghan announce the launch of a world-changing report. Crisis of information. To combat the world disturbed by faucets, Harry has released a new report. Duke of Sussex has issued a dire warning about a disinformation crisis, and Prince Harry has helped launch a new study aimed at combating false news. Some people think, Harry you could try telling your wife to keep her trap shut. That would cut disinformation by at least 90%. Well this is rich. Harry should start with his own wife when it comes to disinformation, not to mention looking in the mirror. The duo told some real whoppers on Oprah, and now we learn how forgetful Megs is through court documents. And let's not forget the Netflix portrayal of his mother and his silence, so far. Harry is absolutely lost to all reason. According to a recent statement, in a joint effort with Archul's co-founders, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, released an ambitious study on solving the rising issue of misinformation and disinformation in technology, journalism, and social media. Leaders the government, corporate and non-profit sectors, are throughout to examine 15 suggestions in the study. As a result of the ambitious research, it was recommended that a fresh proposal addressing social media immunity be put out. Before that, some information said, the hypocrisy of M&H is beyond belief. Those two are the instigators of misinformation and they have the audacity to preach to the rest of us. Unbelievable. According to some readers, clearly the irony of this is lost on half-wit Harry. He and his wife are continually being exposed for telling porky pies, and now we discover that the American perjured herself for good measure. Harry you really need to get better advice and remember, when you are in a hole, stop digging. Many readers think that, he is trapped in the lie that does not allow him to realize the truth. Very sad Harry living deceived. Harry has no credibility and hardly anyone listens to him. I would have thought that after what we've heard recently from Jason North, Harry giving input into a report on disinformation would make him an absolute laughing stock all over the world. The Aspen Commission on Information Disorder would be best served to cut ties with Harry ASAP if it wants to be taken seriously. Another source said, Prince Harry released a statement on the Archule website yesterday which says the Duke of Sussex has been working with colleagues on a report for over half a year. Harry, who meaningful in his Oprah interview the British tabloids were a large part of why he and the Duchess of Sussex, 40, optional to Megxit, produced the work alongside those at the Aspen Commission on Information Disorder.